Welcome back to a new episode here in Suave. In this video, as you have seen in the title and the intro, I'm going to show you this cool effect that, that I sort of ran into it today. Uh, I was trying to find a video. I was trying to make another video and I couldn't figure out how to do what I wanted to do. And then I stumbled upon this effect. And yeah, so as you have seen in the intro, it's pretty cool and it's actually pretty interesting and simple and easy to do. And if you want have a bunch of clips like I do have here, let me close this media pool. If you do have many clips here, you might want to use an adjustment layer. If you have a music video, for example, uh, you might want to use an adjustment layer if you want to apply it in apply it to a bunch of different clips like I did here. If you only want to do it to one clip, you can also just right click here and make it a fusion clip or just straight up open this clip in fusion. I'm not going to make the whole clip. So let's just do a couple of seconds like that. Let me just cut it pressing control B and then we're going to select these and open our fusion tab. And in our fusion tab, what we are going to use is we're going to go and add the edge detect and that's going to do this cool edge detection effect already. It'll, it already looks really cool like this. So yeah, so this is basically what you have here. If you have the RGB edges, um, it's sort of just going to adapt itself to sort of the RGB scales or values of the edges. So if you change these, it's not going to change a lot as you can see here. So it's sort of like block. It's sort of like locked in here. You can change the threshold, which is basically how much it's going to detect. Then the smoothness, the more you add, the more blurry it gets. Good. And the lower you go, the sharper, the sharper it sort of gets. And then brightness, it adds that cool sort of like big glow effect. And then the opposite happens if you go down and then you can denoise it by making it sharp or softer. Then the denoise strength is basically what it, uh, it's sort of related to these. The more you add it, the more it's going to look like that. And then we can change sharpen and then the effect is also changing like that. Okay. So we're going to leave it at soften because I like that this sort of look. So how do we animate this? The way that I did to animate the colors is you want to change the mode. You can animate it like this, or you can change the mode to grayscale edges, and that will allow you to change the colors to whatever color you want. Unfortunately, there's not a way to make it be sort of like gradient. That would be really cool. Maybe in the future they'll add that option, but if you can do a, a gradient scale here or a gradient selection, it could be really cool. So let's just animate this real quick. As I told you, it's a really simple and this uh, panel here that you have is actually not that complicated as I've showed you already. So what do you, what do you do to animate? You simply create a keyframe. Let's say here at frame 20, we want to change the color from this yellow and we want to make a fast jump. So we're going to go just two frames. We're going to change it here to this purple and then go two more frames and change it to green. But then after this weird quick jump, we want it to sort of like slowly move around the color table. So we just drag this around and then this is going to slowly follow the changes here. Then one other thing we can do is we can adjust the threshold and add, make it sort of like disappear or become deconstructed and then make it reappear. So if you have an adjustment layer and you are using it, you can use that to sort of transition between two clips. Then we're going to go ahead and make it adjust the smoothness. We're going to animate these by whoop. I didn't create the keyframe. We're going to animate these by making it really sharp. And then we're going to adjust the brightness by making it go really crazy. Then here, I wanted to change the color again. So we're going to create a new keyframe because otherwise it's going to come back and slowly change from this keyframe right here that we have. So we need to create a keyframe here again with that same values. And then we're going to make a jump here to a yellow one. 
and then we can adjust the denoise strength also let's see what this does Ooh, i like this part i don't know why i like this one so much yeah like that and then we're gonna create a key from here again and then we're gonna bring it all the way back and if we want it to be to disappear or to go back to normal we adjust the blending mode so we're gonna create the blend here we also can create a blend here a keyframe and go a little bit back and then we're gonna bring it to one so it's gonna be normal it's sort of like gonna fade into that effect and then here we're gonna do the same but the opposite we're gonna bring it all the way back to one and then that is how we have our cool animation. Let's just go back to the edit page and see what this looks like. There it goes. So that's what it looks like with these effects. So you can play around with it. Uh, you can add it to your music videos or intro videos or whatever you feel like it. Whatever creative um, idea that comes to mind that you can use this on. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that I hope that you like this effect. If you did, comment down below or if you get any ideas or anything. Uh, I would really like to know what your thoughts are on this effect. Without further ado, I just want to say thanks for watching if you got all the way to here. And I hope to see you in the next episode here in Suave.